Is the UK in a recruitment crisis? Ashley and Aaron get busy with training. Vicky makes a return. Jordan and Kyle get down and dirty with a pub carpet. We also find out whether or not we can finally get those Clean Air Zone grants over the line. I'm Lee, this is Vapor Clean. Let's see behind the cleans. Monday the 11th of September, nothing's slowing down. Technicians are super busy today. We've got Jordan back off annual leave, but we've got Scott off on annual leave. Scott does the external cleaning, so he normally takes the external van. Because we don't want to let any customers down, he dropped that off on Friday here at the office. A few of the other technicians who are trained on it will be picking it up and taking it out. One of those is Stephen, who's picking that up today, and he's going out for an end of tenancy with a three-story property. So we're doing multiple things on the end of tenancy, including the external window. We've got multiple extractor systems today, a couple of upholstery jobs, oven jobs. It is a flat out busy, busy day. Vicky is back off annual leave today. The office team are back where they need to be. Contract side, it is busy, busy. Ashley and Aaron are up at Dings Crusaders. We've got a new starter up there. Um, we've also got a couple of communal cleans to do for them and then they are back here in the office getting things straight. A couple of the sites in the Dursley area, surgery site and a veterinary practice. The surgery site is annual leave, but the veterinary practice we're short on at the moment. A couple of interviews were happening on that on Friday. We'll get an update on that. They're splitting it at the moment and doing it between them. It just means each site gets their hours, but they can manage to get to, to both sites rather than working together. It shares the driving as well, because it's up that way. We are short, we need a support operative up that way that's the joys of the recruitment when it fails it gets awkward this is one of the reasons why we don't want to go national you know we get lots of offers for companies to ask us to go national and we won't take it on because we know we deliver better a better service when it's local gloucester from us is all those sites from us are about 40 45 minutes beyond that it's too difficult to manage. We also need to pick up the Peugeot van that went in on Friday. I had a phone call late Friday to say they've diagnosed the issue. It has to go back to main dealer. I need to go and get the van and get it back. Then I need to be sorting out the other new three vans as well. So the plan was on Friday was to swap Kyle into this van that is currently off the road. Oh, you're not Pete. I'm like, I'm Kyle. And this is my mustache. <laughs> so we can get his van, which has to go into part X to take delivery of the first new van. But now we can't do that. So I've got to get on the phone to get that sorted. It's the joys. The joys of an office in a country. Um, as you can see, we've got a bit of a issue with a stuck lorry. It's down the side of a farm. It's, our office is down the side of a farm. We were just moving some vehicles around to try and unload them for the, ready for the delivery of the new van tomorrow. The lorry's missed the turn in, tried to come through, and he's uh, hit a tree. So we've got a blocked road at the moment. We're using a couple of days, a couple of hours worth of work by the looks of it to try and help everyone out. But what can you do? Whilst I've got you here, yes. quick question. Yes. The Reavers that you did on Friday for the upholstery, yes. how did that go? Uh, it went okay. I explained there was there was one mill patch that it wasn't coming off, um, and he was okay with that. He understood. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Thank you. But apart from that, he had no other issues. Because wasn't that the one who left yeah. the voicemail? They saying that it's. We ran it again. Yeah, they said it's worse than it was before. <laughs> I've got. I've still actually got the voicemail up because I don't. It can't be worse than this. Is it? I took like the tofus was so clean anyway. I honestly, by the photos I've taken, I don't know. It's wet. The whole way it all over again. Yeah, it's the Did you see my? Yeah, the bus lanes, yeah. yeah, that's not me, is it? Because I haven't been in any bus lanes. Have I? Yeah, I was going to say, you was the most recent one today, but... It must be... You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you know where the... It's Baldwin Street, you know where the... 
bridge goes over the river. Yeah, I um, think I know where you want me to. They, it's the one that changed last year. They changed it and they made the roads one way, didn't they? Yeah. And that's the other way. It's now just a bus lane. Oh, right, well, okay. So it's not um, so great. So they bridge. changed it last year, but then they had a couple of months where they sprayed over the signs and they put it back to how it was because they were doing roadworks. Right. Well, now they're still doing roadworks. They still bus lane. But they've changed it so it's just a bus lane. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It is confusing. It's, it's, yeah. 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 Watch out for it. Hang on. Um, this for this one, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Do you check over it? Um, yeah. So, happy. clean air zone funding. Basically, the way it's worked is obviously it is to encourage as many people as possible to change their vehicles or their vans into clean air zone. So Euro 6, if it's a diesel, has to be a Euro 6 van. Obviously, London went through this years ago. To be honest, when it happened in Bath, we just simply reduced the amount we went to Bath or we passed the charges on to the customer. It's £9 per vehicle to get in and out of Bath. It's the same for Bristol, which was easier because we didn't go to Bath as much. With Bristol though, it's very, very different. We're spending anything from £300 to £600 a month. You know, it's a lot. And that is not even for all of our vehicles. Half of our fleet was clean air zone approved up until six months ago and then the last six months we've slowly replaced another two or three vans businesses obviously can't afford to change vans instantly just like that the bristol city council had a system going where if you were a small business had under five vehicles you could apply for a grant now i watched this very closely didn't feel it was fair that it was for companies under five it is obviously for smaller businesses and i get that that's the best way to start but essentially it needed to be rolled out and they saw that in the end as well and they they actually applied for further grants luckily they extended it to companies with over five vehicles depending on the cost of the van companies could get up to about three and a half thousand pounds towards the vehicle obviously it's a no-brainer it has put immense pressure on the company to be able to replace these vans all close so close together we wouldn't normally do that we'd spread them out we take them slowly and things like that as well but we've had to do it now because of the clean air zone luckily on three of the vans which are the three we still have we've managed to get a reasonable part exchange for them we've managed to get full funding finance is given to us on a naught percent so it has worked out a really really good deal for us but it's also working out as good for the, the for the city and for the environment because reducing those emissions is absolutely brilliant whatever you say about the scheme which is obviously debatable um it's very much the funding is very much needed Is that literally how she reads the word? Yes. <laughs> so, if you get on a veil as well, you have not think about that. Oh, oh my God. God. Very good. Oh no, she's she's good. She okay. does like six to, to midnight. She's got a young baby. She's coming tonight to do it. Oh, bless her. She's coming tonight to, to work me an hour and a half. Right. She stayed on the point at the end of it. She she to show you what I can do. She, she hasn't left yet. She's, she's, right. ah, right. she's overkill. So then she had a text. I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention. I got oh yes, that's fine. You're not going to give me the job now. Are you? Yes, I will. It does. It's fine. It's I can fine. sort it. So she said, will you be there tonight? I said yes. I will be there tonight. <laughs> Is this the one that I? Yeah, I don't know. I saw it down there. Oh, she's all right. I think she'd be good. I think she'd be really good. All right. Yeah. Back at it, not much. Mm. Still very painful. I've taken a zap out, but I only had the one left. So painful because they were taking two. It's because you were dealing them out last week. That's I know. Kim stole it. I tried to give her one. She was like, <laughs> What? Kim, Kim had to do it in my arm. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I think what we're better off doing is getting to the point where we know more of what is a reasonable number in the work boards. So actually what we do is we kind of every day, as far as I'm concerned, every day, the quote work boards, the quote follow-ups and the extractor reminders should be done every day. Unless 
obviously, you know, something major happens and it can't be done or we're just too flat out on the phone. I get that. I'm worried that if I don't list some, people will be like just constantly focusing yeah. on the big wet boards and then these will get stupidly. If we're doing, what, on average 10 extract systems a week, probably a few more than that to be fair, some weeks, but if we're doing 10 a week, I've just seen the time. Yeah. Didn't know it was time. No, Sarah hasn't been at lunch. <laughs> just seen the time. Um, okay, right, yeah. If we're doing ten cleans a week, that means we have to do at least ten post clean packs a week. Mm. Or we get or we fall behind again. Yeah. Which don't get me wrong, some weeks you will. Some weeks someone will be on holiday, so you might only get two or three done if any, but then you should make up the next week. And yeah. that's why I mean having this structure will be great. But it is understanding that whatever's happened through the week, the day before, whatever it is, you might need to just adjust it. Hey! Hi, Vicky! Hello! Long time no see. I don't feel like forever. <laughs> <laughs> you miss me? Yeah. I've been quiet. <laughs> no? <laughs> How are things? Oh, I don't love you. Oh, mate. <laughs> he has missed you. Tuesday the 12th of August, starting the day with a really good day. I haven't headed into the office yet. Always dropped the kids off, so it's half eight. Had a quick scan through my emails and already got the email through from the rugby club to say that it's been approved for the increased hours. Really good news to be managing the cleaning through the week as well on the, as the weekends. So good way to start the day, that's for sure. It means within the last couple of weeks, we've increased hours on three different sites quite often times like that when companies are, are keeping an eye on the cost and they have other things that they handle they might have people already there so for example on another site they already had an existing cleaning operative there they were doing one half of the premises and they wanted us to do the other half because they lost the other person that was doing the other half whereas with the rugby club they were using their in-house team to clean as well so to get the increase on that because they want to free them up to do other things it's only a little win but it's a win. Technicians today, we've got two technicians off today because um, Lee is off and Scott is off all week. I think he's at Scott's actually off for about a week and a half. Um, we've got Jordan and Kyle back at the same pub they were at yesterday. So this is a repeat customer and we do multiple for them. So we did the extractor system yesterday for them. And today we're doing the pub carpets and the hard floors as well. They've got lovely mosaic tiles um, and they, they have them cleaned every six months, deep cleaned every six months to keep them absolutely tip top. And they do look beautiful. It definitely stands out in the pub and sets them apart. So they're back out there today doing that. Smaller jobs after that as well. One end of tenancy, ooh, excuse me. We've got one end of tenancy. Shush, <laughs> try again. We've got one end of tenancy and lots of, of smaller jobs. We've got lots of little carpet jobs today, sort of all over the place, So, which is that time of year. Ashley and Aaron on the contract side, a little bit quieter today. One of the new vans being delivered today and one of the old vans being picked up. Great to start the day all with. Just quickly shot out to do a couple of little jobs because Danny's off today, so um, today and tomorrow she's off, so they're a little bit short in the office. Technicians are flat out because obviously we've got a couple off as well. Um, but we've got a punctu puncture in the window cleaning van. 
Um, that was reported on Friday last week, so we had the spare wheel on it, the spare tire on it, but we need to get that replaced, so I'm just doing that now. And then we've still got the repair needed on Stephen's carpet machine as well, so that's got to go in. So I'm gonna quickly, I've just quickly shot out to get the tire done, get the machine dropped off, so I have a few loose ends. Friday, no it's not. Wednesday 13th of September. We had a last minute request yesterday, a quote. Some of you may remember in a previous episode, a company canceled one of our quote visits. They needed to get this kitchen cleaned urgently. So they canceled one of our quote visits because they had someone else out and, oh, just completely broke me because I saw a road sign. <laughs> They canceled our quote visit because they needed the clean done quicker than we could get there because of annual leave and other bookings and everything else. We couldn't get there quick enough to even do the quote. So they had someone else in to do the quote and they even had them in to do the clean. They rang us yesterday. Basically this company have now been back three times and they've still not happy with the clean. They said it's absolutely awful and they want us to go in and redo the clean urgently now obviously again if you've been watching lee and a couple of the other technicians have been taking on some of the quoting for the specialist cleans which is working out really well and lee has a couple of quotes to do today so hopefully we've got some footage of that he's even put on the whatsapp this today to encourage all of the other techs to take some more content so hopefully he takes his own advice and he gets some more for that quote But basically, the technicians didn't have availability to get anyone over there any sooner than about a week and a half to two weeks time. Then we'd have to wait to get the clean in, so we'd probably be looking about three to four weeks before we can get the clean done. I've shuffled some things around and I'm heading over there to do that quote to help them out. Again, they're a repeat customer um, and it's just good customer service. You know, it's to try and go that extra mile to do what we can for the customer. I did some training yesterday with Sean on some PCP packs and she's offered to do some overtime today to help us catch up on those because we are behind on those. Technicians today, hell of a lot of carpet and upholstery to do. So today, lots and lots of carpets and upholstery, a couple of extractor systems this afternoon and this evening. But tends, most of it seems to be smaller jobs today, but it's still busy. Contract side of the business, a little bit quieter during the day because they are basically setting up for this evening because we know we've got those couple of sites where they're still training and getting them covering and things like that. Ashley's still working on the rugby club increase in hours, which we're spinning around really, really quickly, starting it tomorrow. So we've a few obstacles to get over, but still feeling really positive about this week. We just need to keep moving forward. I, no it's fine and again these things happen and I, I appreciate you've got to get things done in a time frame that happens all the time normally we would have had a bit of a quicker turnaround but you know that time of year and everything else yeah. it's kind of one of those really yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, that's that's what you find quite often. Um, it is the difference between dealing with this day to day, and we do so many of them. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Um, and the steamers, as you say, the steamers are the best thing in the world because even if you can't remove it with the solutions you're using, yeah. you can heat it up, move it around. And then... so there we go, the visit's done and I'm just getting back towards the office now. Um, as you would have seen by the footage, the clean that was supposedly done was absolutely shocking. How could you call that a deep clean? The customer also explained when I very first got there, when they came out on their third revisit, so fourth visit in total, on their third revisit, 
the manager that originally quoted the work went with them or arrived a little while after the team to clean it which is fair enough you think that's all you know that's a good thing and he's trying to resolve it and everything else turns up has a look round the customer shows him what the what the concerns were and he basically turned around to the customer and went well you're obviously just going to be over picky aren't you if i if we clean this again you're going to find even more and that's not good enough so we're pulling out and he literally pulled his team off site and went which you know just <laughs> <clears throat> I've seen customers when that can be the case and you kind of think why am I doing this and you persevere and you persevere and you persevere because sometimes the expectations can be unachievable but in that circumstance unbelievable to be behaving like that um, without a doubt that clean was not acceptable in any way shape or form so I'm going to send the quote over to the customer and look to get that all done and completed for him as well so pulling up to the office now and we shall see where we are and what's going on. All good. I'm gonna move my car though because it looks like we're filling up the car park with all of the vans that are here today. Thursday, 14th of September. I've been dreading this day, but you cross your fingers, you hope, and you go by what you're being promised, essentially. Thanks, Tam. Basically, I've just had a call from the technician that was on bereavement leave yesterday. Now, we had numerous, numerous conversations because there's been more than one situation where they've been off at last minute, no notice, even in Comunicando, basically. So, it's uh, bound to come to a head, but... The last few conversations I had with them, look, I think you need to take two days. No, only need a day. No, take two days. At least take two days. You should probably take the rest of the week. No, can't afford to lose the money. Can't afford not to be in. I have to be in. I just want the day. I need to get on with it, etc., etc. And unfortunately, after the last time, we had to warn him that if you do it again, I've got to let you go. And that's why I've been dreading today because I really didn't want to do it. And I really hoped it wasn't going to come to this point. And what do I get about five minutes ago? A phone call to say they're not going to be in today. Uh, to put it frank, it f***ing, oh, I, I'm absolutely gutted. And it's now in that awkward situation where he's testing my word. Because if I don't, and it's that one last opportunity, which he's been warned of, he's already had that one last opportunity. I'm letting everyone else down as well because they're all starting to get fed up with it now as well. And he knows that. They're, you know, other people pick up the slack for so often, for so long. And, you know, when you're told to take the time, take the time. So yeah, that's how my day's gonna start today. Um, I've got to sort that, sort today's workload out for a start. So I need to finish up here. I'm still out doing my horses, so I need to finish up very quickly. I'm probably gonna stink because I ain't got time to shower. So I'll have to quickly get sorted, get into the office, get it all sorted out. I need to get on the phone to the people he was gonna meet and figure out how we're gonna do this. And then basically we'll sort out the rest of the situation this afternoon. But so frustrating, so frustrating. So what I've done, Reminds me, you need to make sure you shut all your computer down when you're off okay. and you turn, you close all your documents because you left that sheet open Yeah. Uh, and a load of other stuff. Okay. <laughs> Always close your documents down in case someone else needs to open it anyway. Right. But if you are off, close everything down and close the computer down. Sean did an extra few hours for us yesterday afternoon. I did the post-clean pack training with her. I did that with her on Tuesday and she picked up like lightning. One pack with her and she went, oh. That's much easier than I expected it to be. I yeah. thought it was going to be really hard. And I'm like, you know, it's not yeah. hard, but I know it normally takes people quite a while to just pick it up. And then she went, oh, that's fine. I'll go and do some. I was like, sure. Yeah, fine. Do you want me to stay on tomorrow afternoon? And I'll do as many as I can tomorrow afternoon. So she stayed um, yesterday afternoon and did like four, I think she did. Nice. So, yeah, that caught us up. Um, Sarah did seven the other day, mm -hmm. didn't she? Um, and I did four yesterday as well. Um, so, yeah. But basically, I've spoken to the first job. She really needs it done tomorrow. So I've spoken to Kyle, 
then Kyle will do it after his job tomorrow. Go to the Jordan and Jordan will do another job as well. Could ask Stephen if he would do the other job tomorrow, but there is a slot on Tuesday. And to be honest, Stephen's had a bit of a rough week this week. So I don't think it's really fair to ask. What did you say to the Kirk First Cuff story? Yeah, I, t I told him to you kind of believe him. I'm not lying. No. Ultimately, if you tell people the truth, yeah. they're, um, they're more reasonable with it and more understanding, aren't they? So we're all human, and that's the, that is the thing that I lean on. We're yeah. all human. We've all got lives. We will try and be as resilient as we can. Yeah. But sometimes there's an impact. And we then have the situation with... I mean... Can we give an idea? I was polite this morning, but I was very... I, I did say to him, look, if you don't come in, I've got to let you go. Because you told me you would be in. You promised me. You stood by that and you said to me, no, you didn't need that. And I, yeah. And I saw this coming. I should have insisted that you had more than one day off. I should have told him, you're not having, you're not working on Thursday. So. It's difficult I have to kind of take responsibility for that. I should have insisted. I should have said no. But the thing is, he could have th it. thought he was mentally prepared to go. Which is what he said to me this morning, and yeah. that's that is what he said to me this morning. He and said I it, thought I was all right. Yeah. I thought I would be okay. Yeah. I thought I was over it. He said, but I just can't cope with it. It was the same as my grandma's funeral because just, obviously she was on her deathbed. We all expected it. We actually wanted it for her. She was suffering so much, but still. Funeral or her death, then the funeral. Oh my god, couldn't stop crying. I just it is the hard. trouble. Is the, the, the thing, the issue for me is making promises making a commitment is so important to me. Yeah, and when someone says, you know, no, 100% promise you that will be done. Yeah, I just I no, struggle. Do you I, know don't, what I mean? I don't blame you, Axel. I, I feel so. the exact same, but. But yeah, I mean, having been through one recently, I do have a I just. Morning. 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 Morning.
the right people on board. Danny goes out with the technicians to experience what they do day to day. And just as we get delivery dates for the remaining new vans, we hit another bump in the road. Thanks very much for watching. Please do click the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get those notifications, and we'll see you next week behind the cleans.